Hello everyone. Today we'll see. Today I'll discuss about Arden's theorem with example. Okay. Now first of all, what do you mean by Arden's theorem? See, Arden's theorem means when they will give you DFA. If in the exam they will give you DFA and have to and they and they ask you to find out the regular expression from this DFA, then we use Arden's theorem. Okay. When they will give you DFA and we have to convert this DFA into regular expression. At that time we are using Arden's theorem. Okay. And if they give you regular expression, uh, they give you regular expression, and they are uh, they are saying to convert into find automata. Then we use Thomson construction. We will see in, we'll we'll see about the Thomson construction in the upcoming video. Okay. Now first of all, uh, why why we use Arden's theorem? Uh, we use Arden's theorem to convert find automata into regular expression. To convert find automata into regular expression. Now see. In this video, I will derive this Arden's theorem. In the next video, I'll I'll take a DFA and I'll show you and, and I'll show you how to convert a DFA into regular expression. Okay. Now see, they've they've given this. Let P and Q be two regular expression. Means P and Q. They've taken two uh, two element P and Q. Be regular expression of our sigma. This is sigma means our input symbol sigma. If P does not contain any null, means if P is not containing any null value, then the following equation can be written as R equal to Q plus R P. Means they are saying if if P and Q are the are the two regular expression of our input input symbol sigma, and if P is not containing any null null value, then the following equation can be written as R equal to Q plus R P, and it has a unique solution. Means as a unique solution, it can be written as R equal to Q P star. This is the main formula which will be required to solve the to solve find automata into regular expression. Okay, R equal to Q P star. So I will derive in this video. I will derive this R equal to Q P star from R equal to Q plus R P. Okay. So how so how means R equal to from R equal to Q plus R P? How can we how can we derive R equal to Q P star? Okay. Since so, so R equal to Q Q plus R P, they have given. Now what I will do is see. See now what is the, what is the value of a q? See what is the value of r q plus r p? What is the value of r in the right hand side? What is the left hand side? We have r in the left right hand side. We have q plus r p. So what is the value of r q plus r p? So in the r ah uh, in the in the r I'll put q plus r p p okay. So q plus q plus r p. Q means Q P will get Q P plus R P square. Okay. After multiplication, then again I'll put Q plus Q P plus. What is the value of R again? Q plus R P square. So what we'll get? We'll get Q plus Q P plus Q P square plus R P cube. Okay. We are getting this zero. Now see for the ith term, for the ith time, for the ith ith term, what we'll get after putting the value of q, after putting the value of r in in after putting the value of r in q plus r, we will get q plus q p plus q p square. See, I'm I'm saying for ith term, okay? Plus dot 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 means plus q p i plus r p. I plus one. We'll get this at the last after for the i term. If we put q plus r p means we in q plus r p we put the value of r. Okay. Now if we take q as a common, what we'll get epsilon epsilon p plus p square plus plus p i. We have taken q as a common r p i plus one. Okay. Now what is our main task? Our main our main task is to get Q P star. Okay. Now we can see now see S P S. I have told earlier only P is not containing any null value. P is not containing any null value. Now nice if P is not containing any null value and R P I plus one R P I plus one has no string of length less than I plus one. I repeat as R P I plus one has no string of less length less than I plus one. And if W be the strength of length, if W be the strength of length i, then then see if W be the strength of length i, so we can write this equation as Q P star. Okay, we can write this equation as Q P star. S P is not containing any null value. S P is not containing any null value. And and I've I've told you S P is not containing any null value. And R P I R P to the power i plus one has no strength of length. 
less than i plus 1 and w be a string of length i then we can write this equation as a q p star s p is not containing any null value okay this is about how we derive means r equal to q plus r p or Arden's theorem okay this is the main important uh, equations which will be required to solve to convert dfa into regular expression which we will see in the next video okay thanks for watching thank you